Ah, it's so bright. So, oh, hey YouTube, didn't see you there. It's your boy, Naughty and Sans here for another exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Did my first YouTube live stream last week. It was pretty cool. Had a couple hundred people coming in asking me questions about how to edit, and I was telling them how to edit, and if you missed it, then your life just feels a little bit more disappointing. But not to worry, because you can still watch it on my channel. Anyways, this week we're talking about the text on screen while talking, word for word, or something like that effect. Every time I do that effect, I get a lot of questions about it, so we're gonna do it today? I don't even know what I'm gonna call the title of this video. Like, talking text on screen. How do I put text on screen while making text appear with... I have to figure that one out later. So that's what we're doing today. It's gonna be super fun and awesome times for everyone, hopefully, and we're gonna jump right in. All right, boys and girls, we've got Premiere open, and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is have a clip that you want to apply the text effect to, obviously, and then you're gonna wanna listen to what the person's saying. Text on screen while talking, word for word, or something like that effect. All right, so that's a lot of stuff. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna create a new title. My keyboard shortcut is Command T. I believe on Windows it is the Windows key and T. Or you can just click this little button down here and go to new title and it will do the same thing. So I just gave you three ways. Well, technically two ways, but three ways to do it. So you wanna click the type tool icon and then you wanna come down here and you wanna click on your frame and you're gonna wanna type in what the person was saying. So I said text on screen while talking word for word or something like that. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna break up the sentence into different lines that are gonna be appearing on screen. And then what I do is I come over here to the font size and I just make this a little bit bigger. Uh, so my longest line of text uh, goes across the whole screen. So you can see that there's like a little bounding box on the outside where our type is being kind of contained within. And that's exactly what we want. I have a drop shadow on the text right now. Um, I'm actually gonna take that off so we don't have to work with the drop shadow. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make the width of all these other lines match the confines of my longest line, if that makes any sense. So what I'll do is I'll come in and just highlight this sentence right here and I will go up and increase the font size so that it matches the width of the one right underneath it. And I'm gonna do that for all of these. And then what you can do, uh, if you really wanna get fancy with it and play with it a little bit, is you can make the weight of the font different than some of the lines underneath it. So what I mean by that is we'll go text on screen, we'll make it bold. And then while talking, we'll make it, let's say book. And then word, we'll make ultra. And then four, we'll leave normal. And then word, we'll make ultra just to give it a little bit of character and a little bit of something extra. You know what I'm saying? Something extra, a little bit extra. Next, I wanna separate these out just a little bit more than they currently are. So I'm gonna to come to leading and I'm just gonna pull this down just a bit to separate the lines of text. I will hit my vertical and horizontal center buttons, which are these two things right here. Boom, boom. Now that we've got that, we are going to come down here and we're just gonna drop it on top of our video. So now we have it there. Uh, actually, I'm gonna spread the leading out a little bit more. All right, so now that we've got that, we're gonna come down here and you can see that it has text on screen while talking word forward or something like that. Exactly what I was saying, just as one master clip. But what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna separate this into four layers. But first, I'm gonna drop the crop tool onto this layer here. I'm not gonna do anything with it. And then I'm gonna duplicate it four times for each line. Now it's a little bit clunky, but I promise this is I think the best way to do it is the way that I do it. I don't know, if there's a better way, let me know. Cause this is annoying, but it is effective. So I'm gonna duplicate this four times, <clears throat> just like that. And my top line, I'm gonna mute these. Also, I have a, a keyboard shortcut set to mute these clips. Theoretically, what you would have to do is you'd have to right click on it and go to enable. But I have mine set uh, as zero on the keyboard so I can just zero things out, which is super fast. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm going to crop each line in order in which they appear on the screen. So my topmost layer will be my topmost line. So I'm gonna crop it from the bottom all the way up to there. And then this one, I am going to crop the top there and the bottom there. This line will be word for word. And then this line will be or something like that. So now I've got all my things. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start going from the top down. So 
I'm gonna mute these again. Text on screen, right? Three words. So text is there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to crop it from the right now. So text, and then I say on right here. So I'm gonna cut my clip, and then I'm just gonna move the crop over to include the next word. Text on screen. And then we'll do screen, just like that. And then we're gonna leave that there for the whole rest of the time because that's when our next line starts to come in. So text on screen. All right, so text on screen. So while is right there. And we're gonna do the same thing, crop it from the right. There you go, guys, that's pretty much it. Let's watch it through. Text on screen while talking, word for word, or something like that effect. And then maybe at the end, we can just put a giant effect right across the middle of the screen. So what I can do is I can come over to my titles, I can make another duplicate copy if I want, and then drag that right here, and come in here, edit the text. I just want it to say effect, and I'm gonna make it big, and I'm just gonna put it right in the center of the screen, and that's it. There you go, guys. That was probably a little bit easier than you anticipated. It gets a little more difficult when you talk really fast like I do, and then there's a lot of words on screen at the same time, and you don't really know how to do it, but you'll get there. Couple things to remember. Make sure you know exactly what the person's saying. Block out the text so it can read line by line. Play with the weighting of the font for different words that are key to the sentence. And last but not least, use the knowledge that you've learned in today's video to create your own cool thing and don't just copy me or do. I say it every time. I told you I say it every time. That about wraps it up for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nadia and Sands. That's not my birth name. A lot of people will hit me up and say, hey, not Ian, it's so-and-so. That's not my actual name. My real name is Ian, but my internet handle is not Ian. Is that not a funny joke? Anyways, follow me at not Ian Sands on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also check out the live stream that you missed. Or if you watched it, watch it again. I don't care. It was pretty cool. It was fun. It was like an hour long. If you got an hour to kill, you just want to learn some stuff and see me vape a bunch, I, I guess. Just click one of these things. Thanks for stopping by.